December, guys. I am so excited because this means that we are officially in the actual month of Christmas. And if you guys have seen my channel before, this is Plays and Travels, by the way. Hello, guys. I am a huge Christmas fanatic. I don't feel like it gets enough time to be savored every year, which is why this past year I did a Christmas in February. And then I brought it back again in April, I think. But at any rate, I am very happy that it's finally the actual month of Christmas because that means I no longer have to just be like, the weird person that starts collecting Christmas items in January, in February, in October, whatever the case might be. Now it's actually officially allowed to be like, yay Christmas! <laughs> At any rate, um, I am wearing a fun all over goofy print shirt that I got from the outlet. I love this shirt a lot. I was looking at it online at Disney Store and wanted it. It escaped my, my grasp and then I saw it at the outlet and I said, yep, buying it, done. I think I got it for like $12. Excellent deal. At any rate, I have been able to take this back out. My Mickey Santa ears from a couple of years ago. I love this look. Um, and while we are in the month of Christmas, aka December, uh, I am not actually doing official Vlogmas. I know a lot of people are doing Vlogmas right now, but I am not doing Vlogmas. I'm just gonna be bringing you my normal scheduled content, my content that I would be doing this month anyway. And it just happens to be the month of December. And I did that for a reason because I did do Vlogmas the past couple years. And it's a lot of work and it's a lot of like pressure to put on yourself. And honestly, I just want to have fun. This is a weird year. I just want to enjoy the season as much as possible, which is also why I'm not actually doing any Christmas swaps. I am doing a collab, but that's different. I'm just doing my own content, the stuff that I bring to you normally. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I actually have a lot of mystery boxes to get through. It just, they all arrive at the end of November, which is great, which means I have a lot of content just piled up, ready to go out for you. It's going to be hitting you like a bang. So you definitely want to subscribe if you haven't already. Please do so now so you can join our community, see my future videos. If you like this content, give it a like as well. It helps my numbers. And I appreciate your support. I really do. So today I'm going to be doing a pin unboxing. I have had some pins sitting around for a while, plus some two new pins I just got in the mail this past week. And I thought what better way than to show it than to do a fun mystery lounge fly unboxing. So... I have the cake pins that I showed that I picked up from my Hot Topic. These were the really popular series and I got six boxes when I went to my Hot Topic. They had a new case so I could have gotten like the entire case pretty much except for one pin. I think it was 17 out of the 18 pins were there. But no, I got six. I used just enough for hot cash to spend $30 on and that was it. And then I also have just gotten this one from Box Lunch and it is the um, Sidekick. It's called the Princess Sidekick Blind Pin. So it's the one with all the different sidekicks in the Disney movies that are on like different uh, books and whatnot. They're reading books. Reading is great. I actually just finished rereading, rereading The Hunger Games book one. Love it. Anyway, okay. So these are the two different types of pins I'm gonna be showing in my video today. You have the wedding cake pin series from Hot Topic and then you have this sidekick um, reading literary <laughs> series from Box Lunch, and that'll be today's video. So if you like this type of content, keep, keep on watching. If you don't, maybe just stick around and see what kind of pins I get anyway, because it's just fun to see sometimes. And if not, then I completely understand and I'll see you in the next video. But let's get into it. So I have six of these cakes and two of this one. I'm gonna start with the wedding cakes and then finish with the other ones, because I've had this for a while. I did pick up a couple of boxes for my friend, and she's been waiting to see what I got so that she can know whether to not trade it with me or trade it with somebody else. So I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> okay, so these have notches, that's cool. Um, oh, I didn't, I just it just flung out my hand. I don't know what it is. But I didn't say which one I wanted. I see Cinderella, Snow White, Belle, Ariel, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Mo Moana, um, Tiana, and then Mulan. Of all of these, the one that I would love the most is the Ariel one. I like the Jasmine one, the Cinderella one, or the Rapunzel one. Those are my top choices. And then we'll see what else I get, but. Okay, let's go with pin number one. Okay, so my first one is actually one of the ones I mentioned, and it is Jasmine-related, Princess Aladdin, Princess Aladdin, Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. I can talk. I do have an Aladdin collection, although I'm actually thinking I might start to phase it out. I have so many collections, and I'm trying to figure out which ones I want to keep, and as much as I love Aladdin, I just have too many pins, so <laughs> we'll have to see. I might just end up keeping just like my favorites from that collection, but this is gorgeous, and I really do love this cake look. So there are three tiers to this wedding cake, and at the very bottom, you have like a little like lily with the little designs from the movie. 
the second tier has an emerald medallion and some like studs and then you have that scroll effect on the top and the very 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 top of this pin is the magic lamp so that is really neat that you have all those elements going on in this pin and what I actually like about this pin is that it kind of reminds me of the small shop pin bake shop has been doing this for a really long time they have the three-tiered wedding pin um cake wedding cake style pins and they have their own take on this but these official ones from lounge fly and disney are really pretty too so as much as i appreciate the small shop version i do have a lot of pin bake shops pins i also can appreciate these official ones from lounge fly but i wanted to point that out because i feel like pin bake shop came up with this idea first credit give credit where credit's due right guys okay so that was pin number one the next one, let's say it's Ariel. I have no idea what's going to be. And I tried picking throughout the box that I wouldn't get duplicates, so we'll see how well I did on that. Apparently not that well at all because <laughs> my second pin is a duplicate. I have another um, Aladdin three-tiered pin right here, so... Wah, wah, wah. But it's still a gorgeous pin. This will be a trader. Okay, the next one, Cinderella. Ariel. Let's see. By the way, I'm in my Christmas getup and my thumbnail was in, in front of my Christmas tree because I was originally planning on shooting the entire footage of this in front of my Christmas tree. My son had different plans. He decided to put on the Christmas train that we just got. Um, we just set up the Christmas tree and the train and he plays that train nonstop. I can hear it in the background and it's driving me nuts. So rather than have that in the background of our video, I came in here to film. So, oh well. Okay. Yay! Okay, so I got the one that I wanted the most. Sorry, I just got really loud. And it's it's the aerial version. And it, what's cool is that you can't really see the three tiers on this one so much. They're kind of hidden in the design. But the very top has her tail, her fins. Um, then you have a bunch of starfish. Then you have like the purple and greenish blue, like little, um, I don't know, it's like a little mermaid fin design. And below that are like the lilies from the water. And then you have um, a clamshell, seashell, conch shell, whatever the case might be. Comes all kinds of beautiful shells. And all these pins are very sparkly and glittery and just so pretty. So I am super excited that I just got this Little Mermaid one. I think this is an amazing little pin. And I was really excited to get this one. I was hoping I'll get this one. So yay to making that happen. I picked well. Oh, I love it. And what's interesting is this one actually is a little bit slightly smaller, right? Just ever so slightly than the Aladdin theme one, but love it. Okay, so that was pin number three. Pin number four, so far we got the ones next to each other down here. Pin number four is Okay, where was my picking skills? Apparently I picked really terribly. I have gotten two duplicates, so I do have an extra aerial one. I got two jasmines and two aerials so far. My luck in picking these out for myself apparently was not that great. <laughs> All right, so just goes to show you, you never can tell. I have two more boxes. Let's go out with a bang, shall we? The good news is I doubt I'm gonna get another duplicate of those. I mean, what would be the chances of that? So. This will probably be a new pin to me. Let's see. Did I see blue? I do see blue. This one's Cinderella. Okay, so I got the Cinderella one. And oh, she's got the carriage at the very top where she goes in the ball gap, the ball in the carriage. And then underneath that, I see some more like royal scroll effects. I see the clock from um, when she's dancing and she has to wait until it strikes midnight. It's midnight on this clock, so she's probably about to turn into a pumpkin. And then the very bottom of this tier is actually her ball gown itself. You can see like the ruffles of her dress. Her um, her shoe is right at the very bottom. And then there also is a little pumpkin um, design. I love the detail that is on the Cinderella pin. I mean, you've got all the elements there. You've got the pumpkin. You've got the clock. You've got her dress. You've got the carriage. I mean, these are all the emblems from Cinderella that make it so perfect. And this will go great with my Cinderella collection. So I actually think this is my favorite one so far. Is that weird to say? I just really like that it has so much of the film captured in this cake. So gorgeous. And by the way, all the pins on the back just have the usual crown symbol. It says Disney Loungefly. I figured if people actually care about that, that's what's on there. But such a nice pin. Last pin from this series. Let's see which one I got. I only picked up six boxes. 
Please don't be Cinderella. Okay. I mean, <laughs> this is starting to become a running joke now. Whenever I have one of these mystery series and I end on one note, it's always the same character. If you guys have watched a lot of my content, you might be able to guess which character this is going to be. It is tale as old as time. Belle. It is Belle. <laughs> I always end with Belle. It's just like, of all the ones I love, don't get me wrong, Belle is actually one of my favorite princesses, but I have other ones that are um, more top tier for me, and I just feel like I always end up with the Belle pins, or the Belle ornaments, or the Belle whatever the case might be. Oh my goodness. All right, anyway, side note. So the very top of it has the Enchanted Rose, and then the three tiers actually are her yellow dress, my favorite dress from the movie. I love that dress. I, lo I wanted to wear that when I was a kid. And then you've got roses in the very bottom. This is very gorgeous and elegant. This would go great with a wedding pin collection, actually. It's just, it's really nice. And as far as, I, I was giving it some slack. I actually really do like Belle. And as far as my Belle pins go for the mystery box, this is one of the nicest ones I've seen. I do like this pin a lot. I just think it's funny that I was like, can I get um, Rapunzel? Or can I get, uh, yeah, Rapunzel would be my other top choice to have. And I always want Rapunzel and I end up getting Belle or Snow White, which is just so funny to me. But gorgeous pin, gorgeous little look. Love it. I do like the detail on it. And this would go with my Belle collection as well. <laughs> okay, so that was all of my cake tier pins. I did not get the Rapunzel one, sadly, but that's okay. All right, I'm now gonna switch to this one. In the Sidekick series, I haven't shown on my channel before, so in case you're curious what it is, um, it's got Mrs. Potts and Chip on the very top with an enchanted rose and Mrs. Potts reading a book to Chip. Next next to her is Miko, and it looks like um, it's got like a, like a bunch of feathers on the bottom. Then next to that is Pascal with the, um, the lanterns all around him. Below that, you've got um, one of the dwarves. I think it's happy, because he looks so very happy in that picture. Then next to that is a boo with the magic lamp, and it says a whole new world on the book. Oh, that's great. Because the Snow White says, once upon a time, they all say something on the books. So we'll have to read it when we get the, the pins out. And next to a boo, we've got the mice, um, Gus Gus and Jock, as well as uh, Susie from Cinderella. You've got the, the slipper in the bottom as well. Then below that is the alligator from... Um, from Princess and the Frog, and I don't, Louis? I think his name is Louis. I, I have seen that movie like multiple times. It just, it's not one of my favorite films, but I do like the characters there. Um, next to that is Sven, and next to that is the aerial one, which is Flounder and Sebastian and a bunch of beautiful under the sea type of motifs. So obviously my top one would be the mermaid one because I love adding pins to my collection behind me. Um, but I also love the Cinderella one, the Abu one, even the Snow White one is really cute. Um, and then the Pocahontas one. Those are my top choices. Now that I said that, I will probably get Mrs. Potts and Chip. <laughs> Let's see what we get. All right. And again, I only ordered two from Box Lunch. These were on pre-sale for so long. And like I pre I pre-ordered them and then I just it took forever for them to arrive. So I think I just ordered two because I was like the turnaround time was really, really long when I ordered it. Okay, so I mentioned the Snow White one, and that's my first pool. And it does say once upon a time, it's really pretty with them. Um, oh my gosh, Happy looks so happy here. His eyes are just all like, ah. this is when like he's talking to Snow White and then he's laying on a book. There's an apple on a blue book in the center and then you do have a nice little squirrel. So it's a very cute little scene from that film and it's very classic. And if you guys didn't see my November year, the ear um, swap, I did send my ears to Awesome Jossum and the ears that I created were Snow White related. So... I have a nice new fondness for the dwarves, I guess. <laughs> but this is so cute. This is a really nicely done pin. And these are actually really big in size. And then the back is full of the crown. So really nice detailing on this entire pin. I really like them. Okay, so that's pin number one. Again, I only have one more. So the chances of this being my top one are very slim, I realize. But we'll see what I get in just a second. And I do think that my friend Cynthia, my good friend Cynthia, who likes to trade these pins with me, did tell me that she had an aerial one for me, maybe. So if I don't get that, I'll get it from her. My next one is, okay, it's one of the ones I wanted. It's a boo. So I have a boo with the lamp and it does say a whole new world on the bottom. And then you have a big open book. It's like these little like open calla lilies. Is that what they're called? The little flowers from, from the movie. 
they're so pretty. I just don't know the names of the flower, but this is actually really cute because Abu looks very curious here, which is very true to form to his character. And just like the other pin, this is really big too. This is a nicely sized pin. The enamel on this is painted all nice and crisp. I do like it a lot. Um, so this is a really cute pin. And it's funny, I was just mentioning that I might discontinue part of my Aladdin collection because I just got two Aladdin ones. And every time I see them, I just, I'm in love with these characters and it's so hard to like make that decision. But I think I am going to eventually try to sell off some of my Aladdin pins, but this one's so cute and adorable. I think I have to keep it. Okay, so that's it. I wish I had more pins to share with you guys because this is a lot of fun. I always wish that I had like an endless amount of cash that I could just open up all the pins and show it to you guys, but that is not the case. And apparently I have two duplicates I need to get rid of. So <laughs> at any rate, let me know if you have opened these pins for yourself and if you had um, similar luck, the same luck, uh, that means the same thing. If you had similar luck, simil similar luck or bad luck, or if you just didn't try for these at all, let me know that too. If you're not a pin collector, that's all good too. Whatever. I know sometimes I was actually watching a lot of pin videos before I started collecting myself because I wanted to see what the hype was about and that's how I got into them. But at any rate, thank you guys for watching. If you stayed this far, I really appreciate it. Um, and for letting me know your favorite uh, pin collecting activities where you get your pins from these days. I really do like the Hot Topic and Box Lunch ones because they are so affordable. They're only $9 each, which is actually not that bad of a deal. Um, for the most part, I think they're, well, they're $10, $9.90. Yeah, they're $9.90, so they're $10. But eventually, you'll get box lunch money, like I did with the six, and they come out to like $6 each because if you're buying um, a certain amount, it just cancels out. But at any rate, I like my pins. I'm glad I got a chance to get these when I had the chance. Um, the wedding cake pins have now all sold out for my local store, so I'm really glad I got those when I had the chance. And if you guys are lucky to get them, let me know if you're willing to trade or whatnot, and always appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Mwah! Happy December!